Hi everyone. We are doing, this is like a questionnaire, right? Yeah, fun Q&A. A fun Q&A for Honest. So we're asking, you're asking me. Hey guys. If you want to know what's behind Honest social media. It's me, it me. It me. Um, and uh, and so we're, we're asking some questions and the first question is, and like, tell me what your answers are too, guys. How so, do you get your glow on? How do I get my glow on? What does that even mean? Like, do you make sure you get your glow on after Pilates? Oh, I wish I did Pilates. <laughs> <laughs> so getting your glow on is basically like, how do you look fresh and glowy after a workout? Or how do you fake it when you haven't slept like me every day? Um, both, both, okay. So after a good sweat sesh working out, like doing a spin class or, or something, I feel I love a good hard workout because my cheeks are flush for like a minute because I sweat like a beast. So I would say always do a magic, some, I always have magic balm. I put it at the high points of my face. I like to use the Everything Primer. Now what's nice about the Everything Primer is it doesn't have any um, any oil in it, I don't believe. No, it's just like, um, what? No, it's okay. Um, and so what's nice about this is you can get like a nice glow, a hydrating glow, but it's not greasy. Um, and especially when you're sweating or you've been sweating, it's nice to have that. So I always put this on. Um, you can put it underneath makeup or you could just wear it on its own. So I do that. I use the Magic Balm on the high points of my face, on my lips. I use concealer and a cream blush, and that is how I get my glow on. And that's how I fake it too. Like when I'm soups tired, I do that, except I usually add mascara. Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. Um, I haven't been sleeping that well. Hi, Gary. Gary! Guys, at Gary V said hi, and you know what? It's the holidays, and he has a, a wine business, so you can go and get your vino. Um, someone's saying that they like Vaseline for highlighting and getting the glow on, but I'm allergic to Vaseline. I'm allergic to petroleum and all petrochemicals, so um, I can't can't use that. Um, yeah, so Gary V. That is where uh, you should get your holiday presents, Christmas presents, housewarming gifts, and he gives really good entrepreneur advice. So go follow him, folks, for that. Um, what's another question? What are your three things that you must have for the perfect girls night in? For the perfect girls night in. So a perfect girls night out isn't that different to a perfect girls night in. No, I wear a little bit more makeup when I'm gonna go out. So a perfect girl's night in, it usually involves some vino. Um, although last time we drank vodka with um, strawberry Perrier. I highly recommend that. It's delicious. Pear vodka with strawberry Perrier, life changing. Um, so I did that. I usually do concealer, uh, a little cream blush, and I curl my lashes and I fill in my brows and I'm good to go and I will usually wear uh, the great. This is the great. They have these like super comfortable like t-shirts and loungy pants or I'll wear Lumia and then my husband makes really cozy socks. So that's usually my girl's night in. Shout out Pair of Thieves. Shout out Pair of Thieves. Uh, when do you feel most confident? When do I feel most confident? I would say I feel most confident when, when my spirit is settled. <laughs> I feel most confident when I'm feeling good and happy. When I'm stressed or sad, it's tough to feel confident. Um, but when I'm feeling like I did everything I could, I gave it my all. I feel confident, and I and I have to say, a good workout always makes me feel confident. Um, yeah. Perfect. Um, you only have five minutes because you're running late to get out the door. What must you do for your beauty routine? 
if I only have five minutes to get out the door, I curl my lashes, mess, uh, sorry, curl my lashes, concealer, cream blush, and magic balm. Describe your perfect And then at the red light, I'll put on mascara. <laughs> I shouldn't do that. Um, my perfect weekend. My perfect weekend is staying in cozy clothes and hanging out with my little stinkers and cooking food. That's it. I like to cook. Isn't that weird? What's the one thing? Right now, I've been like holiday decorating on the weekend. Is your tree up? No, I was gonna get my tree this weekend, but I think we're too busy. Bummer. Really sad about that. Um, what's the one product that you have to have in your bags at all times? One product I need to have in my bag at all times? I would say it's two. I always need Magic Balm and I always need concealer because I naturally have very dark circles under my eyes and I need to I swear, I, I don't need to. I feel better and more awake when I'm not staring at dark circles <laughs> under my eyes. <laughs> but it's just genetic. Although when I'm on vacation and I'm well slept in a little tan, they don't look as bad. So there you go. What did you have for breakfast this morning? What did I have for breakfast this morning? Did, did we have a quiche or something? It was mm -hmm. like an asparagus quiche. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had that. I usually eat eggs. Um, and I try not to have too many carbs. I'm not mad at a corn tortilla, um, but I try to stick to a lot of veggies, fruit, and protein, mostly, in my diet. But I love a snack. It's really hard to stay away from tortilla chips. Sometimes and I eat a lot of beef jerky. Give us your detox tips. Detox tips. Um... I think drinking a ton of water is essential. Um, if I'm like really trying to do a detox, doing starting the day off with like warm water and lemon, and you can throw in a little cayenne or turmeric powder in there, but starting the day off with that. And then trying to strip away any grains, trying to strip away, um, you know, any kind of like processed food. is good for a detox um, I love to do like a face mask um, we have a charcoal detox face mask that I love. these are all things I do when I'm hungover by the way um, and uh, nothing that ever happens uh, what else helps actually a good sweat session helps with the detox so like a good cardio class for like half an hour 45 minutes and um, yeah that's it there she, there she has it I should do a liver cleanse I'm just not not good at committing to things how long do you have to commit to that I don't know I think like maybe two weeks I don't I don't. I can't even stick to a cleanse for three days. I don't have the willpower. We need like a twenty-four hour cleanse situation. Yeah. Oh, I love my snacks though. Perfect date night, Cash. If you're listening. Perfect date night. Me not planning. Someone asked what uh, concealer do I use? So Honest Beauty. I took a lot of time off, but I'm doing a TV show with Gabrielle Union. It's a spinoff of Bad Boys. So I get to run around and do action and it's funny, a little drama good. When and where can they watch it? Uh, you can watch it on Spectrum. 
it's a cable provider and that's what it will be streaming thank you all right so one last thing one last thing I feel like a lot of a lot of confidence for me came later in life it came to me when I prioritize what really mattered and know that you have such a short time on this planet and um, you only really can take with you the memories and the meaningful relation the meaningful memories and experiences that you create and don't let negativity or lessons or that you have learned or challenges along the way define who you are I think always try and look on the other side of it and and be optimistic about your future and then I think you will inherently have confidence um, because your focus won't be on silly things another recording down there all right guys um so those are questions i hope you guys are having a nice weekend it is december 1st my kids advent calendar is officially starting today those little stinker stinker binkers um and i'm tired